Hello dear students, welcome once again to my channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. Today is clip 21. Have you watched clip 20? In that, we learned many fantastic ideas of saving time while converting fraction to percent and percent to fraction. We are going to need it when we solve the word problems. So I hope you are ready with your charts pen and pencil the two charts that we have written in clip 20 and we have kept it ready have you started by hearting them already very good so let us use them now before going to word problems i want to discuss with these two typical type of questions where students get confused let's see how to solve them this is also kind of word problem only 5% of which number is 0 0.5? So how to solve this? Just go according to the language of the question. See how. 5% of. So right here. 5% of. Which number? Write x. Because we don't know that number. Which number is 0 0.5? So this is 0 0.5. And now we know how to solve this. What is 5% of? It is 5 upon 100. 5% 5 is 5 upon 100. Of means multiplication. X as it is. This is 0 0.5. So for X, what do we need? We will take this 100 up here and 5 in the denominator. So X will be 0 0.5 into 100 upon 5 100 here 5 here and shift of decimal point i hope you remember this one place shift one zero this is gone five ones are five ones are so everything gone and only 10 remains so x is equal to 10 five percent of 10 is 0 0.5 if you didn't get it, please rewind and watch it again. It's very easy. Just go as per the language of the question. Here also we are going to go as per the language of question. Let's see how. 6.8 is what percent of 476? See I'm, how I am going to write. 6.8 is means is equal to what percent? I do not know. X percent of 476 so that becomes my equation how I need to solve this x percent means x upon 100 of is 476 of means multiplication and then 476 so 100 will go up in the numerator and 476 will come down 6.8 into 100 upon 476 and that will be x shift of decimal 1 1 0 here 1 0 here this is divisible by 17 so let me see if this is divisible by 17 this is 17 4 is a 68 17 2 is a 34 and 17 8 is a 136 so yes it was divisible 4 1 is a and 4 7 is a so x is equal to 10 upon 7 so 6.8 is 10 by 7 percent of 476. You may need to convert it into decimal as per the requirement. 7 ones are 0 here. So decimal point 7 fours are 28. Again a 0. 7 twos are 14. And this will go on. My answer is 1.42. So 6.8 is 1.42% of 476. Just write down the equation like this as per the language and do the calculations. Now for calculations you must be expert in tables as well as conversions. So please watch the earlier videos for conversions and do practice a lot. Next problem. First we are going to solve a very straight problem and then we will go slightly difficult ones. We will go to slightly difficult ones. 
In a shop, there are 25% boxes of girls' clothes, 40% boxes of boys' clothes and remaining of men and women clothing. In all, there are 700 boxes. How many boxes contain men, women clothing? Or question may be how many boxes of girls' clothes, how many boxes of boys' clothes. So this is straight away calculating percentage of total 700. This is a very straight question. See now 25% of girls and 40% of boys. So this becomes 65%. So out of, if there are total 100 boxes, out of them 65 are of boys and girls together. 65% means what? Per 100. That is out of 100, 65 is of boys and girls. So 35 still remain. Out of 100 when 65 gone, 35 still remain. That means 35% is men, women clothing, isn't it? Men, women. 35% of what? What is total number? Total is not 100. Total is 700. So we need to calculate 35% of 700. This is 35 upon 100 into 700. Two forty-five. So our answer is two hundred and forty-five. Question may be about girls' clothes also. So what is number of boxes of girls' clothes? This is twenty-five percent. So that will be twenty-five percent of seven hundred. You may be asked this. You may be asked this, or you may be asked this. Whatever they want, they may ask. But this is very straight question. I don't think you will get such a straight question. This just we solved to get you an idea how to calculate the percent. Now let's move to further questions. In a class of 72 students, 25% are girls. Out of these girls, 11.11% have curly hair. How many girls have straight hair? Or the question may be how many girls have curly hair? Now remember, out of this 72, 25% are girls and whatever number of girls is there, out of that 11.11% have curly hair. So 11.11% doesn't pertain to 72 because 72 is total number of students. This is percent only of number of girls. So be careful when you calculate the percent. So first what we need? First we need there are how many girls. Then we will see there are how many girls with curly hair or straight hair. 72 students and 25 girls means 25% of 72. And 25% is 1 4 that we know. We have seen that chart and 18 4 is 72. That means there are 18 girls in all. In all there are 18 girls. And out of these 11.11% 11 .11 have curly hair. So 11.11% .11 of 18 that you need to calculate. But if you remember the chart that we learned in last clip. Is the chart ready with you? I have it ready with me. So I'm going to take it as reference. 11.11% 11 .11 is 1 by 9. I hope you have memorized it already. So 11.11% 11 .11 is 1 by 9 of 18 that is 2. So 2 girls have curly hair. 2 girls have curly hair. But what is the question? How many girls have straight hair? So out of 18, 2 have curly. That means 16 have straight hair. So your answer is 16. Now you have to be careful about this last line. 
द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट स्ट्रेट हेयर और करली हेयर बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स वंस वी गेट दिस आंसर टू गर्ल्स हैव करली हेयर एंड इफ दैट ऑप्शन इज देयर इन द गिवन फोर ऑप्शन देन वी टेंड टू क्लिक इट बट क्वेश्चन इज नॉट अबाउट करली हेयर क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट स्ट्रेट हेयर सो योर आंसर इज सिक्सटीन एम आई वेरी क्लियर लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन अ बॉक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट मैंगोज आर रॉटन द वेंडर सोल्ड रिमेनिंग फोर सिक्सटी टू मैंगोज इन द मार्केट हाउ मेनी मैंगोज वेर रॉटन और द क्वेश्चन कैन बी द बॉक्स कंटेन टोटल हाउ मेनी मैंगोज लेट सी हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट मैंगोज आर रॉटन ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट मीन्स पर हंड्रेड सो इफ देर आर हंड्रेड मैंगोज इन ऑल ट्वेंटी थ्री विल बी रॉटन सो वॉट विल बी द परसेंटेज ऑफ नाइस मैंगोज हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री दैट इज सेवेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री इज सेवेंटी सेवन सो इफ ट्वेंटी थ्रेवन ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट मैंगोज आर रॉटन दैट मीन्स सेवेंटी सेवन परसेंट आर नाइस दे आर रिमेनिंग मैंगोज इज एंट इट नाउ दे आर सेंग वेंडर सोल्ड रिमेनिंग फोर सिक्सटी टू मैंगोज इन द मार्केट दैट मीन्स दैट सेवेंटी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ टोटल नंबर ऑफ मैंगोज इज फोर सिक्सटी टू दैट इज गिवन टू अस हाउ मेनी मैंगोज वेर रॉटन ओके नाउ फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस देर आर टू वेज वन इज सिंस आई नो दैट सेवेंटी सेवन परसेंट of total number of mangoes per pertains to 462 i can find total number of mangoes and then i can find how many were rotten but i can use one shortcut like this look here 77% are remaining mangoes let me write it here remaining mangoes are Seventy-seven percent, isn't it? Hundred minus twenty-three. There are seventy-seven percent, and which is four sixty-two. So seventy-seven percent is four sixty-two. Question is how many mangoes were rotten? So twenty-three percent is how much? That way we can calculate. Seventy-seven percent is four sixty-two. Then twenty-three one twenty-three percent is how much? And then we can do the cross multiplication. So this question mark will be twenty-three percent into four sixty-two upon seventy-seven percent. This into this divided by this percent percent will get cancelled with each other. Now this is. Seventy-seven divisible by eleven. If you use divisibility criteria of eleven, you will come to know that this is also divisible by eleven. If you don't remember the criteria, you can directly divide it by eleven. We know the table of eleven. Eleven four za forty-four, and then eleven two za. This is eleven seven za. Seven one za and seven six za. This percent was already cancelled. So now this is twenty-three into six. One thirty-eight. That means this question mark value of this question mark is one thirty-eight. So if seventy-seven percent is four sixty-two, that means twenty-three percent is one thirty-eight. That is the number of rotten mangoes. Or if we are asked to find total number of mangoes, then what we can do? these are nice mangoes the remaining mangoes and these are rotten so we can add them and we will get total number of mangoes very clear there is another way of doing it suppose the question is the box contain total how many mangoes let's assume it as x let total mangoes be x we can do it like this also Now seventy-seven percent are nice, so seventy-seven percent of x, they are nice, and that is four sixty-two. This is given to us. This is given to us. So how we will find x? Seventy-seven 
सेवेंटी सेवन अपॉन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सेवन परसेंट इज सेवेंटी सेवन अपॉन हंड्रेड इन टू एक्स इज फोर सिक्सटी टू सो एक्स विल बी हंड्रेड अप हियर सेवेंटी सेवन बिलो सो फोर सिक्सटी टू इन टू हंड्रेड अपॉन सेवेंटी सेवन बोथ आर डिविजिबल बाय इलेवन इलेवन सेवन जा इलेवन फोर जा एंड देन टू जा सेवन वन जा सेवन सिक्स जा सो दिस इज सिक्स हंड्रेड सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ मैंगोज आर सिक्स हंड्रेड इफ वी आर कैलकुलेटेड बाय दिस वे फोर सिक्सटी टू प्लस वन थर्टी एट देन ऑल्सो आंसर विल बी सिक्स हंड्रेड ओनली आंसर इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज बट हियर वी यूज अ शॉर्टकट इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइंडिंग टोटल विथ डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेटेड सेवेंटी सेवन परसेंट इज फोर सिक्सटी टू देन वॉट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग इट बी डिफिकल्ट टू डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन दीज टू वेज देन वॉट यू कैन डू इज फर्स्ट ट्राई दिस वे बी एक्सपर्ट इन इट एंड देन यू ट्राई दिस वे बोथ वेज आर नाइस बोथ वेज आर गुड यू शुड सी इन विच वे यू आर मोर कम्फर्टेबल एंड दैट वे यू कैन यूज यू शुड बी एक्यूरेट एंड इन लेस टाइम यू शुड नीड टू सॉल्व सो एनी वे इज फाइन दैट इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम द ओनली थिंग इज आंसर शुड बी एक्यूरेट एंड इन मिनिमम टाइम ओके एंड देन देर इज थर्ड वे ऑल्सो टू सॉल्व दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज Instead of assuming total number of mangoes as x, you can assume total number as hundred, and then you can solve. That is also one easy method. Some students find this easy, some find this easy, and some find taking total, assuming total number of as hundred, that easy. So in next example, I am going to use that third method. That is, assume total as hundred. So let's see how to solve in that way. In a class, boys and girls have equal strength. Equal strength means number of boys is equal to number of girls. That is the meaning. So, in a class, half are boys and half are girls. That is the meaning. Ten percent of boys play hockey only. Fifteen percent of boys play cricket only. Twenty percent of girls play chess. Rest sixty-two students do not play any sport. What is the strength of the class? Or the question can be: What is the number of girls? Or what is the number of boys? Or how many boys play hockey? Question can be anything, but we can solve any question when we arrive at that number of boys or number of girls or total strength. So what we are going to do is. Since we are given that number of boys is equal to number of girls, I am going to assume it as hundred. So let total number of boys be hundred, and total number of girls also be hundred. I am assuming both as hundred because they have given us that. they have equal strength they have given us that number of boys is equal to number of girls so i am assuming both as 100 now 10% of boys play hockey see again concentrate here are they saying 10% of class or 10% of students play hockey no they are saying 10% of boys play hockey that means out of this 100 10% means If number of boys are hundred, then ten play hockey. That is the meaning. Now, since we have assumed boys as hundred, what I am going to do out of this ten percent? That means ten play hockey. That is given to us. Hockey only. Fifteen percent play cricket only. So fifteen they play cricket. Twenty percent girls play chess. So number of girls are this is boys and this is girls. Out of this, twenty percent means twenty in hundred play chess. And then then we are given 
rest 62 students do not play any sport now here they are not saying boys or girls they are saying 62 students means some boys and some girls do not play any sport and their total is 62 did you get the meaning of question now let's again concentrate on our method 10 and 15 total is 25 that means 25 students play some sport but out of this 100, 75 boys do not play any sport. Am I right? So if I assume total number of boys as 100 then this 25 gone so out of 100 75 boys do not play any sport. And in girls, 20 play chase, that means 100 minus 20, that is 80. 80 girls do not play any sport. So what is the total number of students that do not play any sport? Total number of students that do not play any sport will be how much this is 75 and this is 80 sorry this will be 155 now see what idea we are going to do this is 155 and we have assumed total number of boys as 100 and total number of girls as 100. That means we have assumed total class strength as 200. Isn't it? 100 plus 100. We have assumed it as 200. That means if 155 students do not play any sport, then total number of student is 200. But Actually, how many students do not play any sport? They have given us that 62 students do not play any sport. So, if 62 do not play any sport, then what is the total number of students? If 155 do not play any sport, total number of students is 200. If 62 do not play any sport, then what is the total number of students? So, what will be this question mark equal to? this into this divided by this we have seen this in earlier question also cross multiplication so this question mark will be this into this divided by this try this division and tell me the answer now for dividing this we need the factors isn't it but i'm not able to understand which what is the common factor between them here it's 5 so this is definitely divisible by 5 if i divide it by 5 i get 31 and see 62 is divisible by 31 31 multiplied by 2 is 62 that means they both are divisible by 31 so this is 31 5 and this is 31 2 za. answer is 80 now you can divide the way you like this is 200 and this is 155 both are divisible by 5 so you can first divide them by 5 and then divide this anything is fine the final answer you are going to get 80 that means total number of students is 80 so I'm going to write here total students is 80 what does this mean? There are how many girls and how many boys? Girls are 40 and boys also 40, isn't it? They have given us that girls and boys are equal in number. So out of 80, girls will be 40 and boys will be 40. Now if they ask you, if the question was, what is the number of boys that play hockey? Now in the question they have given that 10% of boys play hockey. 
now we have found that number of boys is 40 so 10 percent of this that is one tenth four boys play hockey that will be your answer so whatever be the question once you get this you can find answer to any other question now here we did it in this example by assuming 100 you can also do it by assuming x this is x this is x so hockey will be 10x upon 100 cricket will be 15x upon 100 then add them the procedure will be same but if you assume 100 the calculations become very easy so some students like to assume 100 some are more comfortable with assuming base x they like to solve algebraic equation they are fast in solving algebraic equation so it's totally up to you if you want to do it by assuming x or by assuming 100 in my next clip we are going to solve many more examples where the matter will be more clear you will more understand whether you are happy with x or you are happy with base 100 that time also you can decide when you practice more and more if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel maths in minutes with priya please do so it's absolutely free you can suggest to your friends also and you can do group study watching these videos so let us meet in my next video till then stay happy stay blessed and don't forget to practice the chart that we discussed in our earlier clip about percentage which you can use in our next clip and please buy hard tables too bye till then